Hi everyone, I'm Chris from Kiwi's Joy and Construction. Welcome back to our channel. In today's exciting episode, I'm going to show you how I turn this old dingy van rang into what I call a Milwaukee masterpiece. We actually drive about with so much unnecessary stuff. Do you think the tracks will fit there? Like, the build shelf. Where would the tracks go? The tra I think the tracks, see, because in that bag, you were sliding here, like on the back of the shelf. Quick sum up we fitted this new vinyl flooring. I took it into my brother's house. He's a floor wear. It looks great. Pressure glue down, so it's pretty much down there forever. It's never coming back out. What I've got here is I've got all the pack out boxes, so this is the kind of setup I'm going to be going for. So there's another pack out box to go here, but this is just to give me a rough idea. Um, and that'll be kind of full height there. Contemplating getting the, the things that screw onto the floor and just clip in, and then there's not really much work to do with that. And this one, this is the box with the wheels, so again, that one doesn't clip to the bottom. I might swap that out for a bigger box that does, but then I do like getting the wheels in and then going to the box, so I can't decide. See, they've kind of just kind of sat over it, and then just to kind of get a rough idea, we've got the table saw here. Do I think that's where it's going to stay? I don't know. Above here in this area is going to be the miter saw station, chop saw station, and we've got the vacuum and then miter saw stand. Now I know that's sitting there like that, but I think this will look well cool if that was on the back door, kind of like that, in some some way. These are just all ideas. It's one of the things. Contemplating painting the black, the back plywood black. I think it'll look really cool. On this side, it's going to be more of like the store if you like, so this is going to be like a consumables, a screw, silicon, nails, kind of everything all on this one as you go as like a daily, because that van, oh, that van door at the back opens first, the side door opens first so we can just be grabbing things here and keeping all the big tools here. Now this is quite a good rearrangement, will I mess about with it? Probably. Will it be this final version? Doubt it. I think we're going to change a few things, but stay tuned. So right, we're off to Screwfix and B&Q I'm going to order the floor mount things from Milwaukee just to get that thing in And I think, I keep sitting looking at it and I think it won't come together unless I just actually go and buy some plywood I've decided, I've made my point, point. I think I'm going to regret this later on I'm going to paint all the plywood black I was going to buy another box to like suit the place that I was going to, the, the first tower but I noticed the double drawers and I wanted the double drawers for ages and I thought oh, it wouldn't fit so I've came out of screw fix, measured the back of the van real quickly double drawers fit, brilliant but I've also ordered the floor mounting plate so I don't know if it will fit with the, it's like the drawers are 360 and I think I've got 400 so I think I've got 10 mil height which is so close so if the drawers don't work we'll take the drawers back so I hope that it just all fits but it, it might be too annoying so if the drawers don't work I'll just take the drawers back and just get the wee box to fit, but it is what it is, but I think the drawers are cooler, especially if that one's going to be like mounted.
been really bad there's a mad storm coming. No way we're gonna go to the back and cut the sheets of plywood up. What's the storm called? Angie or something, I don't know. Storm Agnes. <laughs> is that what it's called? Yeah. <laughs> you know. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, we're just gonna go and get and being cues. Goose, but it means I get to try out the new Milwaukee tractor. Because really all you need to do. There's my ball! There's the wee update and where I'm at the now. So yesterday and the day before the weather's been absolutely terrible. So I had to go out to my brother's. He's got a big um, outdoor house around about his back garden. So I used that to build this. It took me a while to build it. But it doesn't look like much. It took me more time messing about, trying to get the right size for the chop saw to be able to like lift it in and out comfortably as well as the hoover and as well as that I'm like planning on putting the stand here so if I made it slightly too big the back doors wouldn't shut if I made it too small I couldn't get the chops on and out so even though it's not much there was a lot of like prep work that went into it like actual building it was easy and um, one thing I'm doing on this van build is every shelf unit is I'm routing it in I just think it looks more sleek um, and it looks a lot better to route it in where your shelves are going and in that way there's no messing with bits of wood underneath to hold it and all that, like I just think that looks messy. So as clean as possible, and I know it's a bit probably overkill, but it's going to be probably the last time I ever do this in this van before we get a new van. Table saw here, I don't know what I'm going to do with this bit above here because I can just can't decide. Hopefully the, the microwave can fit in there and we can get a microwave in there and that's what will happen with there. So the now I'm going to move on to this side. This side is going to, I'm trying to, the last van build, I had everything on just the one side and nothing on this side, so I'm trying to split the weight of the van so it's more evenly, so we're going to move on to this side, this side's going to be a lot thinner it's not going to come out anywhere more than past this hoover, this wee tiny hoover's just going to sit here um, and it's just going to be for like here to here and that's all we're going to build for this side, so let's get into it la 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 get jiggy with it describing this panel and this is going to be like a first shelf so it's going to be all these wee nooks and crannies in the van which takes ages so what I've done is I've just found like the biggest gap and then I just measure 110 and then just that's how I do it I just 
that's one ten's the biggest gap, then we need it to go in one ten. Okay, so I've just put the first shelf in just now. That's just going to be silicon, screws, really light stuff up, up the top, keep the weight to the bottom. And what I'm going to do next, I'm going to put a shelf in around about here. Um, and then this will be like the main section of this wall where we'll maybe have like screw trays, additional tools, reboxes and things like that. And that's what we're going to be in this middle section. Do I know what we're going to put in them? Nah, not yet. But we're getting there. We've still get plenty of room to get materials and all that. I don't even know that exact size that's us left to, but it's looking so good. What's next is looking through all our stuff that's in the living room and deciding where to put it all. Put this bit in. This is just all for like wee bits like drill bits and like a shifter set, multi tool blades in here. These wee sets are actually really good. They get you all sorts of pickles. So these wee things here. Um, all stuff like that. In here we've just got some old tools, it'll be good if somebody's helping me, we help if it's old tools. Um, and in here is just generic like hand tools, like quick hams and stuff that we need. Up here I'm thinking silicon and adhesive, nails and screw nails and then screws. Is the kind of like plan I've got for here. And that should do it. Kind of sit mirroring, mi mirroring down what we've got down here, but maybe moving them left and right just to sort of the bits up top, not the shadies yet, I think I'm just going to put a bit of wood across, just leave it as like a bit to throw stuff up there, see if it wasn't for these knee pads, I don't think I've ever done this a big nose joke man, even through the knee pads it hurts a wee bit, nice and neat, mitre bond, adhesive, everything there, that's why that one's a bit higher, because how annoying is it, we used to go a bump and to fly out, all the sticky stuff, all the sticky stuff in there, screws, nails, well this will be like filtered right in because we're going to fill up the screw trays, but it was just a kind of space to put. Nails in here, this is big enough for another box, so for a third box of nails. It's long stuff up the top, plenty gun screws, Milwaukee, digital level, brush, once it dries out, folding square. In here are the wee boxy things. In here are the old tools that we don't talk about. In here are hand tools, uh, we hoovered in here. Big crowbar and bin bags and big wipes under here. And at the back door, we've got two spirit levels and a sledgehammer. And this is big solid, we've got anywhere. What I've done is I've emptied the van again because it's time to sand it and we're going to paint all the plywood black um, just to give that cool effect to the red, black, and all the Milwaukee gear. And it was a late night last night, I was out here from 8 in the morning till 9 o'clock at night. Uh, doing this racking, so I filmed as much as I could but at the same time I wanted to get it done because I'm very excited to go back to work 
with all this funky tools. That is so cool, I've never used that before. Right, okay, so here it goes. Day three, I think, on the van, and we have painted it all black, and I think it looks absolutely amazing. The shelving looks so cool, painted black. I can't wait. We've got LED lights coming from around the perimeter, um, and now our task is refilling it with all the tools. <laughs> good, good, good. Fantastic three days racking out this van and the space and how we use the tools is so much better and so much more practical for us. I'm so glad that I had painted all the plywood black, it looks amazing with the light. So if you would do it in different, if you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments and I'll see you in the next one.